Hey guys, in this guide we'll focus on the central part of Bitstamp's trade view, the trading chart. You'll learn how to navigate its different functions and adjust the chart to get the most from this powerful tool. Let's start the tour. First, let's expand the trading chart by clicking on the full screen button in the upper right corner. Now let's take a look at a few of the chart settings and trading indicators that can be found on the upper left panel. The default time frame of the chart is set to one hour. This means every candlestick on the chart represents one hour of price movement. We can adjust the time interval by clicking this button. Let's switch to four hours, as this is a very popular time frame among traders. You can scroll with your mouse wheel and move around by clicking and dragging anywhere on the chart. If you're not a fan of candlesticks, you can choose different visual representations of price movement. For instance, let's change the price chart by clicking the candles icon and selecting line. But we're sticking to candles for this tutorial, so let's switch back by clicking the same button again and choosing candles. You can also use the undo and redo buttons to switch back and forth among all the recent changes you made. Now let's learn how to add trading indicators to the chart. Clicking on indicators will open up their menu. Let's add a commonly used indicator called a moving average. Here it is on the chart, represented by a blue line. I'd also like to see relative strength index. Here it is at the bottom of the screen with its oscillator graph. Now we've already got a lot more data on our chart in the form of two commonly used indicators. We're preparing guides on all these different indicators as well, so keep an eye on our social media channels if you want to learn more. But for this tutorial, we're going to stay focused on how to use the trade view itself. You'll notice that all of your active indicators are listed on the left side of the trading chart. Currently, we're looking at moving average, relative strength index, and volume, which is turned on by default. Note that MA is short for moving average, and RSI is short for relative strength index. Let's adjust our moving average by clicking it and selecting format. By changing the length of the moving average from 9 to 50, we transform the default 9-day moving average into a more robust 50-day moving average. Note that you can add additional moving averages to the chart, so you can combine different lengths at the same time. Now let's get rid of moving average and RSI by clicking the cross button next to their names. We've now learned how to utilize the upper panel menu and are ready to explore the other functions of the trading chart. At the left side of the chart, there is a menu with different tools and patterns. We'll go through this menu from top to bottom. You can double click the icons in this menu to open up a submenu if a specific icon offers it. Double clicking on the first icon will open up a menu which displays different mouse pointer options. Since a cross pointer suits as well, we won't be changing it. The next icon opens up a menu with line drawing tools. Let's select trend line and draw it by applying its anchors to the chart. On the next submenu, you'll find many different charting tools. Let's choose Fib Retracement and apply it on the chart. We can always delete a trading tool by clicking on it and selecting Remove on the menu that pops up. Next in line is the brush and various drawing shapes. There are a bunch of different format options for how to add text notes to the chart. This time, we're choosing the basic text form to add a name to the trend line we've drawn. Down here, we've also got functions to draw different patterns to the chart calculate the risk-reward ratio of a specific trade setup, or mark price ranges. To make the chart clearer and more visually appealing, we can add graphics to it. For instance, we'll put an up arrow graphic to where the price of Bitcoin rebounded. Let's continue with our column menu. Next in line is the tool to measure specific price movements. You can click it and apply it on the section of the chart you want to measure. You can use the Zoom In tool to take a closer look of a specific chart section. After zooming in, the Zoom Out button appears under it, which takes you back to the original chart view. Next on the menu, we've got four different drawing settings. These are Magnet Mode, Drawing Mode, Lock Drawing Tools, or Hide Drawing Tools. The next icon opens the Objects tree, which lets you adjust, format, or delete all the currently active indicators and tools on the chart. You'll probably find yourself using the same trade view tools over and over. You can add these to your favorites to save some time. Simply open up any menu and mark the star next to the tools you want favorite. We'll add trend line and Fibonacci retracement to our favorites. The favorites box will appear here. The last icon in the column menu removes all drawing tools. That's it for the column menu. 
we've successfully learned how to navigate through it. Now we're back to our default chart. The last part of the trading chart we're going to take a look at is the panel at the bottom. On its left side, you can choose the time length you want your chart to display. This can be a day, a week, a month, three months, or one year. Note that switching between these will also adjust the time frame of the candlesticks. If you want to see what happened at a certain date and time, you can use the Go To button. At the right side of the bottom panel is where you select your local time zone and turn on percentage mode or logarithmic scale mode. You can also turn off auto scale, which is turned on by default. Turning it off allows you to move the chart in all directions. With auto scale turned on, you can only move the chart left and right. Last but not least, the scale properties button in the bottom right corner enables you to make specific changes to your price scale. And that brings us to the end. We've gone over all the different parts, menus, and tools of the trading chart, and you're ready to start plotting your next trade. Check out our other trade view videos to learn more about the order book, depth chart, and opening orders. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more news and clues.